the cat came over. I thought she seems nice. I'll find out who this person is. I don't know if I even heard about being connected to the military. I'm not really sure when you told me, but it wasn't something that I could understand how the impact would happen. We both were resigned to the fact that we couldn't be out and that we had to really protect ourselves. I was able to build a secret passageway that went from our bedroom and the bedroom that was supposed to be my bedroom. We felt that we had to be closeted in our own home. I had a lot of anger about that. And it wasn't only our society, but it was the fact that Pat was in the military. I was asked to be the first Army National Guard chief nurse. That really rocked my world because I had no idea how I would continue on in this relationship with that long distance. But I knew I had to go. It was the top rung of my career ladder. When I got to the Pentagon, we frequently could not talk. We had to develop a code so that we could communicate when we thought lines were tapped. You were absolutely right when you were talking about the military. I just hate this oppression. It's hard for both of us. I love you for all of the tolerance that you exhibit. I get this huge cardboard box, and I started looking in it, and I said, oh no, I can't do this to her. I applied for a top secret clearance. I made the statement, I am a lesbian. They said, the Army is going to start discharge proceedings against you. And I was stunned, embarrassed, hurt. I had always believed that the Army took care of its own. And now they were coming after me. I was sad that I had to be a part of that. Sorry that I had to do that to you. I wasn't ready to come out until now. Please welcome Pat Thompson.